Hi, and welcome back to my channel, Faraday Academy. In today's video, I want to talk about my story and how I got into development and became a professional self-taught developer. So my interest in coding started as a teenager, or actually before that. When I was about 12 years old, I became a webmaster for a group that I was a part of, and I built and hosted a website on GeoCities. So it was basically HTML, and I don't even think there was any JavaScript at all. It was a pretty standard early website with lime green text on a black background, just looked atrocious. But after that, uh, later on in my teenage years, I started using an RPG maker to try to build games. And that was mostly a drag and drop interface, very minimal coding. And then I also got into customizing my page on website and doing these small coding activities throughout high school. So I ended up going to college. I went to Boston University, their College of Engineering, and I was planning on studying computer engineering there. However, I took C++ um, and two semesters of MATLAB, and the C++ was really difficult for me being thrown into that class without any prior knowledge. And I was the only girl, and it just seemed like everyone else was so far ahead of me. So it kind of made me feel like I wasn't going to be able to make it or cut it. So somehow I got through that class. I went on to really love and enjoy my time with MATLAB, which was mostly uh, processing data and doing simple things, building GUIs for the desktop and some other basic algorithmic coding, I guess. So I did end up dropping out of college. I had some problems and also I couldn't really figure out exactly what I wanted to do. I ended up traveling for a little while, working at random places. I wanted to improve my people skills also, so I took a lot of jobs where I had to work directly with people. I worked at restaurants, in sales, management, and doing other things like building go-karts or taking care of a cactus garden and just a lot of random jobs. And for those several years, I took lots of classes in coding. I, I remember taking HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery, MATLAB, and quite a few other things. But it was only taking classes. And then sometimes I would build a, per a little personal project outside of that. But I never got to a professional level. And unbelievably, I never learned things like Git until 2014, which I consider the time when I really started to get serious about coding. I moved to a new city and ended up taking a less time consuming job. So I was probably working about maybe 35 hours a week. I was doing a ton of research and coding and I took a class on Swift development for iOS and I built a couple of small mobile apps and the activity of building something for myself and seeing it to completion really got me excited about taking the next step, finally becoming a professional programmer. But even in 2015, I was still spending hours every day researching which coding languages and tools and things to learn, and I didn't have a lot of direction. So I was kind of figuring out as I went along. And finally, I read some books like No Degree, No Problem by Josh Kemp, and I realized I just need to pick a curriculum and finish it all the way through. I can't keep jumping around. So I ended up finding Free Code Camp and saying, hey, I'm going to follow this curriculum until I get a job, which I actually did. So as I was working through the curriculum, I took it section by section and I would try to map out how much of it I could get done every week if I was going to study for three hours every day. And through this time since 2014, I actually started blogging about my experience and what I was learning, what my goals are, what I was struggling with, all of those things. And through that, I found a really amazing and supportive community online. So as I was taking this early version of Free Code Camp step by step through each section, kind of adding in materials and reading books where it made sense to get a more comprehensive idea on all of the things that I needed to know for development. So in addition to the three hours a day that I had set aside to study coding, I was also focused on networking at the same time. So since January of 
2015, I was heavily attending meetups and reaching out to people on LinkedIn. I was building out my online portfolios, trying to connect with people on Twitter, and just in general telling everyone I knew that, hey, this is what I'm doing. I'm looking for a programming job. If you have any connections or know of any opportunities, then I would really appreciate it if you would make the introduction for us. So that eventually happened in, I think it was the fall of 2015. There was a friend of a friend who I never met. I just met him on LinkedIn. He had an open position at his company and ended up inviting me in for an interview. And at that time, I really only had some basic projects on my portfolio. I think I had six projects and one of them was a GUI calculator. So nothing was really amazing yet, but they really liked me at the company. So they ended up hiring me after an interview and I was so excited to get my first job in coding. It wasn't anything too crazy. It was basically maintaining all of their websites. So they had a lot of PHP and JavaScript and of course the HTML, CSS. So that was basically what I was working with as well as a little bit of just general web management, um, social media, and managing their WordPress sites. So I really used the time that I was at that company to hone my skills a lot more, to keep networking, keep working on my portfolio, to set myself up in the best way for that next level development job. Now I loved everyone at the first job, it was basically the type of products that they were selling I didn't quite agree with. So uh, that's one of the reasons why I was looking for another job so quickly. So after I think it was seven or eight months there, I ended up getting hired from another company who I had networked with at a meetup I had gone to regularly. Basically, they had sent their recruiter there and she stood up and said they're hiring and a little bit about the company. And so I was really excited and thought she seemed great. So I was too shy to talk to her. So I asked one of my friends because I had been going to the meetup for almost a year at that point, or maybe over a year. I sent him to talk to her and to introduce me to her. And then that interaction led to us exchanging information. They invited me to an interview. I had a couple interviews, which went great. It was just really exciting to talk about technology. They saw that I really had a good grasp on the current technologies I was working with because I had worked hard to stay up to date on what was current in JavaScript and web development and stuff. So they gave me a really good offer, exactly what I wanted actually, and I ended up going to work for them for over a year. And it was really at that company when I feel like my development knowledge really got to take off. It was a small company, there were a couple partners that owned it, and they were all senior developers. So I learned a ton from just working with them. They were very patient with me, and I got to try lots of things. I got to do front end, back end, I got to work with databases for the first time really, besides a little bit with WordPress. I learned a lot of AWS development. And I really got to see what I liked, what I didn't like. I kind of got a glimpse at where I wanted my career to head after that. And I actually thought I was going to work at that company for a long time because I enjoyed it so much. But some things happened with people at the company and so I ended up leaving. Since then, I've really kept up with my goals of studying and networking as much as possible. So if I'm ever in the position where I need to find another job, I know that I can just reach out and find one. So that's basically my backstory of how I got into development, got hired at my first few jobs. Of course, my end goal was always to work for myself, which is exactly what I'm doing right now. And I'm very happy with that decision. I'm also happy that I got experience working with large and small companies and lots of great developers, great senior developers who taught and mentored me throughout my career which has made me a lot better and gave me a great foundation to grow off of. So that's my story. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. If you want to support my work, consider signing up for Patreon or purchasing my book about how to teach yourself how to code. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.